Hey, Doc South here, and no, I'm not a real doctor. I just play one on, well, I used to play one on the radio. <laughs> but other than that, oh, gosh. I still do try to make people feel good, help them feel good by doing these little stories and all. So I guess, in a way, I've still got my uh, license to practice, I suppose. But, you know, today I, I went to work early. I, in fact, I was knocking on the door, let me in, let me in, it's freezing outside. Uh, uh, they Actually, they had the door unlocked for me. They Yeah, I think they knew I was coming. And, uh, but I, I got in, uh, you know, started working. And, and of course, where, where did I work today? Chilly day like this, I was, uh, I was in the uh, dairy cooler, knocking down pallets uh, that came in by truck from the uh, warehouse getting them all set, assorted, so that they went to the right spot on the shelf, that kind of thing. And uh, that that room's kept, I think, right like one degree above 32. So, well, no, 33 degrees, right. And uh, that keeps the milk fresh without freezing it. You know, the butter doesn't all of a sudden just go, bleh, yeah. Uh, or um, yogurt won't go bad on you at that temperature. And, well, I guess it would if you left it in there seven or eight months or something past its expiration date. But other than that, no, we, we kind of keep an eye on that kind of thing. Eggs are fine. You know, the milk, no problem. But, uh, and so I, you know, again, knocking down the pallets, putting it on these like rolling platforms we call U-boats, shoved it out onto the floor and uh, started putting stuff up. And then I get a, I don't know, the, um, I guess the we got a call over the intercom. Uh, Doc, would you come to cur come to courtesy? Evidently, whoever was to uh, bring in carts evidently called out sick. So, hey, could while you're in between get putting stuff on the shelf, could you go get carts? I said, oh gosh, yes. I'll, oh my God, you're out of them. Yeah, that's okay. So I ran ran outside to get carts. Then I'd. I'd get enough carts and I go do some more on the shelf and then uh oh, then uh, again we had a pretty good crowd in the store so I had to go get more carts <laughs> so I'm running around doing carts and knocking out uh trying to get what I can onto the shelf and oh uh, eventually uh the dairy manager came by uh my my uh, uh friend Jeff and he he took over and it was time for me to go home at at noon time and <laughs> and I I think you know I didn't even notice the cold really when I was uh, shoving the carts around and all that I didn't um, I I didn't notice the cold when I was in the cooler and and boy if you're ever going to notice cold it's there I think there's one two three four five I think there's at least four fans that are the size of like archery targets blowing cold air on you. Um, it's cold to begin with, but then, then you get the, uh, the wind chill working on you too. And I never really notice it. Now, when I was doing the carts, again, no problem with it being cold. I come home and I, I'll tell you right now, I got about eight layers on. It's, it's unreal. This heavy old shirt is finally, I think, doing the trick. And I'm, I'm, I'm no longer uh, chilled right to the bone. I'm wearing something like six shirts. Yeah, six shirts. All long, no, I have one or two are short sleeve for uh, you know the core, and the others are insulated shirts that uh, should keep me warm, but I'm chilly here in the house. Don't get it. Hmm. You think I'd be just fine? Finally, you know, in not such bad, uh, in not such. Uh, foul conditions, uh, doing relaxing stuff. I think it's the relaxing that gets you. I honestly, I think, I, I think that might be it. Cause honestly, I think you could almost work in the, uh, dairy cooler or the frozen cooler in a dog on t-shirt and you wouldn't really, as long as you're working, you wouldn't notice it. Stop working. Things might get ugly, but it's, um, yeah, it's great work incentive to be working where it's, unmercifully cold and windy <laughs> and outside yeah if you're going to work outside work oh just 
tote that barge and lift that bale and you'll be fine. Come home to relax. And even though there might be a fire in the fireplace, uh, someone nice to sit on your lap and, uh, and supper to eat, you, you may still feel chilly when you get home. Weird, ain't it? I don't know. I guess the, I, I guess the doctors are working on that one. I don't know. I know. What do I know? I'm not a doctor. I just play one on, or used to play one on the radio. That's about it. Mm. And coffee. Coffee always helps. Nice hot coffee. Warms the, to quote Lum and Abner, the uh, look up Lum and Abner. You'll be glad you did. Lum, L-U-M and Abner. Okay. Mm. And, uh, but to quote Lum and Abner, uh, yes, uh, coffee does warm the crockery of your heart. Oh, well, I guess that's it for now. I'll catch you later. God bless. Stay warm. And uh, it's almost better to throw on some extra shirts and to turn up the old thermostat. Get right down to it. You might even get warmer. You know, I'm going to someday I'm going to have to try this when Sandy's not around because she'll she'll belt me one. <laughs> if I you, you might actually be warmer if you turn down the heat. No, that couldn't be. Well, I don't know if I'm in the cold and I feel warm. And if I'm in the warm and I feel cold, I don't know. Eh, maybe it's my thyroid. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye now. God bless.